In the recent Kotaku article, there are some more details about the Red Dead Redemption and GTA 4 remasters. Apparently, the remasters have been shelved, which in plain English means they've been put aside for now and perhaps later they'll be revisited yet again. The reason behind this is pretty simple. The GTA Trilogy remasters eh, could have gone a little bit better if we're gonna be completely honest. So I don't think that anyone in the right mind would have any sort of faith in another remaster coming from Rockstar in the foreseeable future. So for that reason, they're kind of put on the side for later. Obviously, Rockstar also doesn't seem to be having much time to even bother with it, considering the fact that sources have also told Kotaku that Rockstar is currently focused on GTA 6 and not the past, for now. To give you a quote from our favorite person on Twitter, TestFunds2, as per reliable source with clear accuracy on Rockstar's plans, remasters of GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption 1 were on the table a few years ago, but Rockstar chose not to proceed with a project in mind. The poor reception of the trilogy Definitive Edition might be the reason behind that decision. To further add to this, remasters of GTA 4 and RDR2 were not in full production, just some ideas and plans and remained as such even when the trilogy launched. Rockstar was looking at the trilogy to greenlight more remasters. So, obviously, as you might remember, a couple of months ago, I guess at this point, maybe even a year ago, there were some rumors and stuff floating around about Rockstar actually releasing these remasters and just kind of seeing, hey, what is going to happen after these things come out? Stuff like Bully and Red Dead Redemption 1, GTA 4, all those games, because if the trilogy was a success, they would then go ahead and remaster more games, including Red Dead Redemption 1 was also one of those games mentioned. But now with the focus seemingly being shifted more towards just trying to make sure that GTA 6 is going to come out before we're all 50 years old, it is probably a good thing, at least in my opinion. GTA 6 taking priority and seemingly Rockstar focusing on that fully at the moment is definitely a very good thing. Obviously, we're still going to be getting GTA Online DLCs because why wouldn't be? They still have to make money somehow while they're working on GTA 6. Regardless, that is all the information I have for you today. Thank you also very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed or found it useful. Subscribe for more. And if you really like what you see on the channel, make sure to become a member like Chloe and Robert. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later.